Hey friends, we are here at the Grand Floridian on the first day that they have their Easter eggs out. So I'm um, very excited about it and um, I just can't wait to dive in because I walked in and you could already smell the chocolate and the sugar. Um, so I'm really excited about it. So uh, let's get going. All right, I think one of the biggest eggs is how they have here, and it actually looks great near the, the birdcage, is Kevin from Up. Look at this detail. She's huge. She's, she's about as tall as me, I think. All this wonderful detail of her feathers. And then, of course, down here are her three little guys and the chocolate bar that he gives her. Look at all these little details. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Every feather has a you know little thing to it. So cute. And actually, we have a little little bit right here. Uh, a lot of them have a little note. So let's see. In nineteen in two thousand nineteen, I created an up themed egg display, which includes the up house and. A large, oh, I do remember seeing that one before. Oh, and this person made this Cinderella stagecoach. This year you created Kevin. Wow. You will notice that she is not in the birdcage because she is free. Love it. So continuing, we have Rhea in The Last Dragon. We have Remy from Ratatouille, and he's on his book of... Uh, everyone can cook. Anyone can cook, excuse me. We have an Avenger one. Oh, there's Groot. I wish sometimes they, they could like spin so we could see the whole thing. And a Snow White egg. We've got all the detail, the flowers. And then the guys right here. And their diamond mine. have Encanto. Look at the flower. So this is when she and Isabella are giving each other hugs. And there's the candle. And even down here, look at there's a little mouse. Look at this detail of these flowers. You can actually smell the chocolate too. And we have Mr. Toad's Wild Ride right here. There's a little note. So this was her favorite ride when she was a kid. And then we have Fantasia. I was hoping to see a Fantasia egg. I was thinking ahead of time what would be a fun one. And Fantasia, I thought would be nice and colorful. Pegasus. We're going to go around the corner, maybe get a better look at the back side. All little Pegasuses. Oh, poor little guy got scraped right there. <laughs> so this is some of the Grand Cottage offerings. We have a guava suit roll, a lemon berry Mickey whoopie pie. Look at that, it's Mickey shaped. The Grand Cottage box. Salted caramel popcorn. Peanut butter egg. We have a little bunny, let's see, was it yeah. orange scented cookie sandwich, yeah. chocolate bunny with M&M's, a white chocolate bunny, Mickey fruit pop. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, <gasps> Look at the little lamb, what comfy look. Oh, that's too precious. Cream cheese, carrot coffee cake, that sounds good. A bar in the dirt, pardon me. <laughs> of course, a hot cross bun, a carrot blondie pop. And vanilla bean cakes. How sweet are those? And spring macarons. But that little cake pop is just everything right there. So cute. Oh, and we also have a Grand Floridian jelly bean. Beautiful. All right, so we are definitely, uh, excuse me, we are directly across from the Kevin and right by the elevator here at the Grand Floridian. Uh, so we have Walt's A right here, the castle, the plants. We have a little Dalmatian, and we 
looking. Down here, the little one is Lion King right here. But we have Luca. One of Emma's favorite movies right now is Luca, so we're pretty excited about that. The orange guys? Is the orange bird. Representation. Love the orange bird. Over here we have uh, a smaller uh, tangled and the three fairies, the good fairies. Um, I'm assuming this back one might be um, uh, Snow White with Cinderella. Here is Figment. Notice good uh, little, those little footprints and the colors are changing. And if you can look, the, uh, all the, the countries are represented here at the bottom. And Figment is 40 years old today. Or not today, but this year, so it's a big thing for him. There he is. I love Figment. He's so cute. See how the colors are changing? Just like on the spaceship Earth. This little guy is from uh, a little short. And I totally are forgetting the name of it, but it's actually one of the cute, cute little short. And over here we have Winnie the Pooh's honey pot. See, there's some carrots from Carrots Garden. Some honey. A little bit over there. And I think these little curled up things, if you look really close, I'm guessing they're supposed to look like little pieces of chocolate. I wonder if they actually are chocolate or if it's just little wax that's supposed to look like chocolate. It doesn't really matter, but I'm okay. And oh, the back of Luca's pumpkin, excuse me, back of Luca's egg has uh, some space and uh, some planets. So that's when he was getting very excited when Julia was talking to him about it, about space and such, like that. Yes. Okay, here we have little Winnie the Pooh with his little red balloon. Love that. And I look behind is the little map of the forest. And over here, it's an opening and it says Aurora is the red. Oh, this is the, um, I love this idea. This is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. One of my favorite Disney movies. I watched it with my parents who loved it as well. The graphics were definitely before its time, especially Aslan. Oh, sorry, that's what it says right there. You can see the little light. Of course. This looks like it's little Daisy's home. And Donald is gonna come see her. I love that there's a little doggy right there. Oh, I couldn't read it before, but through the camera I can say it's the uh, Main Street Electric Parade. I've never seen it. Um, I saw a little bit. Actually, I saw I saw a little bit of it at Disney Land, but I haven't seen it at Disney World. I don't know even know if they have it at Disney World. Actually, this one is just full of color and Mickey's. Look at all these little things right here. Super fun. Now, this one is a very large one. I can't quite read the story. I wanted to represent a movie that is lesser known in the Americas. My Neighbors in Toronto is set in Japan and is known for the animation in the movie. Okay. I am not aware of that one. The Sword in the Stone. That's kind of fun. Oh, so there, now you can really see the detail. Okay. And there they are as fish. I wonder if the other side has them as when they were squirrels. Oh, oh, nope, there they are, right up there. That's when they were squirrels. <laughs> and there's the female one. And, oh. Now this one is very interesting. This is Alice in Wonderland, clearly. But it is a working clock. And all of those chocolate gears. How beautiful are those? Of course, we have the flowers. We took time to do the little faces. Beautiful. Maybe we'll get the back side of it and see. Oh, there's Bambi. I was hoping to see a Bambi, honestly. 
And there's Flower and Thumper. I do love Flower. Beautiful. It's a very classical egg looking to me, like a sugar egg. Look at all the butterflies. Now this, I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to have to read. Oh, it's the country bears. Oh, okay, the Arctic bears. I thought they were bears, but I wasn't 100% sure. Because of the, um... It kind of almost looked more like rabbits to me, but... <laughs> oh, but look at it at the top. That's kind of fun. I love this one. Look at the amazing detail. I love the light coming back from behind it. And the flowers. I love it. So pretty. Such great detail. And even some on the back there. We're gonna go we're gonna go to the other side and take a picture of it. So this one you really have to zoom out on it. This has a nice little story behind it. Um, it's the artist said that I remember my grandmother's antique kitchen when uh, it was so comforting. It's, it's really hard to comforting. And when the Minchkins came out, I thought it was a perfect mix of Disney. So these are like these little stuffed animal puff things. But this one has so much great detail. A really egg, egg dying old school way. And the book has attention to detail of words. It's kind of hard to read, but it's clearly a recipe. And this one right here. I love the old stove. I love that there's a hidden Mickey right there. Super cute. And I made her. <laughs> uh, this one artist said that she wanted to make something for her husband and make sure and his favorite movie is Cars. So I love that. Wheels. And there's some more guys on the back, but um, I'm going to have to go around. Ooh. I see back here. There's some more going on. It's just hard just to get to. Uh, so, and there's the, the Grand Cottage. So we'll have to walk over there to get a better uh, view of the back. So here's the back of, of these ones that we just looked at. So actually, here you have Mim and uh, Merlin battling out and all their you know, creatures. And you even see Archimedes at the top there. This is the back of the center. Uh, um, Alice in Wonderland one because there's a Shashar cat. Look at all the gears. You can literally look right through it. And there's a clock on this side too. And here we have our Bambi one. And some more uh, closer represent of uh, county bears. And then actually, I just realized this the Tiana, that's her vision of. Okay. And then over here on the uh, the cars ones, different uh, it's the different signs from the uh, um, from Radiator Springs. So you have Slow's Cafe, the um, Sarge's Out um, Surplus, very cool. And then there are two giant chocolate bunnies over here. They're probably about, I would say, two to three feet tall, maybe? Two and a half feet, ears included. There's a couple of those. So here's the cottage, a better, closer look. Um, cute little thing. And this is where you can buy all those goodies that we noted earlier. Um, I'm looking at maybe the hot cross bun. Maybe we'll let Emma choose, although I do love the carrot cake. So the carrot cake is looking pretty good. I'm not a huge hot cross bun thing, but um, I don't know. I still might get it anyway because it is Easter. Those are the hours. And little bunnies right there. And here are the hot cross buns. Okay, right here we have a Disney artist painting one of the eggs. How cool is this? Right there she's painting Maximus and it looks like she's slowly been working around getting the right place. Look at all those characters. So many characters that are happening right here. 
the beast, I love the hippo, there's there's a boo, there's oh my god, there's so many. So uh, Mickey, of course, the fairy godmother, Jasmine. I did not want to walk around with a side, so you can see. There's some other sketches on the eggs, you can see the paints she's using. See power. So scooting in, you can see some more, just some rough sketches. There's some Mirabelle, there's Peru, there's Tiana. You're doing a great job. Thank you, princess. Who's your favorite character? Uh, Mulan. Mulan. I do believe Mulan is yeah, on here. She, he's on the other side of the edge. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm pretty sure Johnny already painted her. I do have a background in oil painting. I did. I took every art class that I could in school, and I still do it for fun. So, thank you. Did you choose? Did you decide? Like, okay, I like Figaro, so I want to paint Figaro, and I like, you know, the blue fairy, so I want to paint the blue fairy. Or you just get what you get. <laughs> I mean, we kind of did that the other day when we were all sort of working on it together. Uh -huh. We were like, oh. <laughs> I like this one or oh I only have 20 minutes before I have to leave so I'm gonna do cricky gotcha you know just to sort of like fill in where it needs to go right right um, but um, for the most part it's just sort of following along the path and who decided which characters uh, uh, yeah yeah who decided who which characters get to go on there and um, where for that matter Johnny had found a very large photo of a bunch of different characters together mm -hmm. um, and he just sort of like morphed it onto the egg. Nice. And then um, he sort of picked and cho chose, like if there weren't a lot of princesses in that photo, I think there was Cinderella and Bella and Snow White. Uh -huh. um, so then he added in a few more of the princesses gotcha. and some of the newer characters because it was an older photo. So we added some of the newer characters. Sure, from the sure, sure. Movies, like from, I see like Rick at Ralph right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, some of the Pixar movies, I believe he also added in. Nice. So it was just sort of, he wanted to have a really inclusive bunch, especially even with characters that might not get enough love, like uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame is on here yes. as well. So, you know, love things him. that... I see Mobley. A lot of people mm -hmm. don't do Mobley. Yes. yes. So... Hercules. Very cool. Oh, I love it. I see so many different characters, and every time I look at it, I see a different one. There's a man. Oh, I see my percent. Oh, there's even little Chippendale at the bottom. Oh, there's Gus Gus. So how long would this take to do, roughly? I guess it depends on how detailed and... Yeah, it depends on... Um which characters you're doing. Uh, makes sense. Um, like I said, Cricky took me 15 minutes to, mm -hmm. um, to paint, but um, Aurora over here, she has really long hair and a lot of- She's not in the blue dress though. But her pink dress is outlined in blue. <gasps> oh, yes, I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh, my mom and I always go back and forth and saying it should, well, not back and forth, but she should definitely be in the blue dress. Oh, see, I like her pink dress because it differentiates her from Cinderella, who has a blue dress. Well, but in the movie, Cinderella's dress is off-white. It's more silvery. I'm just saying. That's but, a whole nother deal. <laughs> that's a controversial thing. But also, I, it really is. It really is. Aurora is my favorite and pink's my favorite color. So. Okay. Well, and I did read somewhere Aurora means rose and pink's roses are pink. And that's why the book closes on a pink dress. Yeah, but I still like her in blue. <laughs> well, hey friends, we just wanted to thank you for joining us today um, here at the Grand Floridian, checking out all the Easter eggs. I do believe in some other uh, 
hotels, there might uh, Disney affiliated hotels uh, might have eggs, but they haven't posted it yet. So this is uh, the first showing of the Easter eggs. Um, right back here is Kevin. It is my favorite. Um, so and I was I just really was pleased to see him. I love the the details and how the little ones are by his feet and the height. Um, other couple of favorites I enjoyed were seeing. Um, the Encanto one was really fun, and the Fantasia, and over there, the um, I really like the Sword in the Stone, the detail of that one, because it told the whole story, and um, the Bambi one. And oh, let's not forget that we got to see like an artist actually draw, or excuse me, paint on the egg. So that was really cool. I was really excited about that. So um, I was wondering if I like if there was an egg that I would like to see that I didn't hear, that wasn't here. Um, even though Emma really enjoys the Luca, um, I think it would have been fun to see maybe like turning the turning red because Emma really enjoys that. Um, or even a Finding Nemo one. Yeah, so some more Pixar. But um, we hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, what, what would you like to see? <laughs> but um, yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, please like and subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, we greatly appreciate that. All right, see you soon. Bye.